So, if you wanted to mill some boards flat, you'd use a planer, right? Or is it a jointer? Well, I'm in the UK, so it would be a planer. But because in America or in the United States, that would be called a, a jointer, and our, what you call a planer, we call a thicknesser. So, for argument's sake, I think we're going to call it a jointer because at least everyone knows what a jointer is. Anyway, let's get back on topic. Yeah, if you were going to mill a board flat, you would use a jointer. If you wanted to mill a drum or something round, would the first machine you'd thought of be a jointer? Probably not, but if you stick with me here, uh, we've came up with a fixture or a jig which actually holds and rotates a drum over the cut head on a jointer and mills it perfectly round and perfectly smooth. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. I'll show you a few examples and I'll go through the actual fixture and show you how it works. Uh, we are planning on making a, a full working, far improved version of this, but it works amazingly well just as it is. So let me take you through what it's all about. Uh, this is one we made a while ago. It's made of uh, Iroko and spotted maple. Uh, beautiful, sounds great. Solid stave drum. And have a hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we have a um, mahogany drum here with a oak hoop on the top. This is actually not a drum. It looks like a drum and it certainly could be a drum. It's made in exactly the same way, but this is going to be repurposed and used for something else. We'll tell you about that later. Let's get that out of the way. Right, I'll bring the... Uh, the the whole assembly over with a drum attached and show you a little bit about how it works. All right, I'm handheld here guys, so excuse any movements. Uh, what we have is a carriage and we have a central spindle or a shaft that goes all the way through the drum. It's clamped onto the drum on either side with, I don't know if you can see, there's a, a washer with a lock nut on the, on the end of that. And the, the same on uh, the other side. Now that has an up and down adjustment via this clamp and a fine adjustment through this screw here. Now the way that works is you basically turn this one and the one over here on the other side at the same time uh, and the same increment. So if you do a quarter of a turn each or a half a turn, you're going to raise and lower uh, equally. So what we do is we undo the, the main clamp. This is this clamp. We've got a, a bolt on either side, which has got a, a, a wing nut, which is here. Undo that, make your adjustment with this screw, and then you would retighten this so that we have a, a, a nice firm adjustment we're planing evenly on both sides of the drum. You would have the machine at its shallowest depth, and then you would bring this adjustment down so that you're just kissing the, the, the cutter. And once you've set that, and you're even across the, the whole plane, then you switch the machine on. You've got, it's a two-man operation at the moment. You've got one person manning the crank, which is here which turns the whole thing. And you would have someone else holding here to make sure that it didn't get away from you. Now in the new version, we're gonna have this so that it's ratcheted, so that it only 
travels in one direction. We're actually going to make a full version of this fixture to mill, uh, to mill these drums down. It won't be made of wood or OSB <laughs> or melamine. <laughs> it will be made of either steel or aluminium. So at present, this fixture has been made to fit on our jointer. Now we're hoping to make the new one so that it is compatible with many jointers, if not all. I'm sure you can't wait to see this thing in action. We'll, we'll need out of the video with that. Uh, the whole point of this is to show you uh, what our plans are because we actually made, you know, we are going to make a, a video on the, the build for this fixture, jig, tool, whatever you want to call it. Um, so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.